Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to show you another no-code tool that you can use to create a website and not only a static website but also a website that has a built-in CMS and also a drag and drop interface that you can use to create a logic. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm JJ, founder of Tech Therapy, the home for tech-related insights, reviews, and discussions. And if you are looking for a tool that will help you create a website with no or zero knowledge on programming or web development, then you will love this video. So keep watching. And in the end of this video, I will show you how easy it is to create your website landing page in just a few minutes using this tool. So the tool that I will show you today is bubble.io. So Bubble.io is a no-code development platform that is used to develop software, applications, or website without coding, or can I say Bubble.io offers a way to build an application without having a knowledge of core programming language. So to use Bubble.io, you just need to navigate to this website, Bubble.io, and for you to use it, you just need to register by using your email, and then just answer some few questions like survey. And you don't need to provide any billing details like credit card. And then it's all free. You can try their tool for free. So once you have successfully registered to Bubble.io using your email or your Google account, then this will be your landing page. Here you will be asked to create a new app by entering the application name or if you already created, an account then you will see a tile here of your project which you can edit later so in our case uh, this is our first time to use bubble so let's enter our app name so maybe let's name it the preppy demo application demo app and then it will check if the name already exists so let's make it unique by adding a number there you go so this application name is valid and can be used so let's click create app so there's a option here if this is your first time that you can try the premium plan but in our case i think uh the free is good enough just for uh you know playing around with this tool so let's click this start with basic features and this is now the bubble.io interface. As you can see, there is some pop-up here that will guide you on how to start using this interface. But in our case, I'm going to skip this. And this one is another way suggesting on how to create a landing page using a component library. But I will show you how to use it later as promise. So let's close it for the meantime. So let me walk you through this bubble interface. So you have two panel here. The first panel is the is where you can find the design, the elements, database, styles and plug plugins and setting menu or tabs. And here this white blank space here is your canvas. Bubble.io is just a drag and drop platform. So for you to add, you just need to select the element and then hold it and then just drag it here in your canvas so here i drag and drop the text element as you can see here there's a pop-up once you drop this element in your canvas basically this is the property editor of your elements property editor is composed of three tab the appearance layout and condition so the appearance is is the tab that you can use to change the the text your elements and then the layout basically is for how it will uh with the sizes of the element the margins and padding while the conditional is like if you want to have a condition when or where this uh, application will appear in your application so here let's say i i want to edit the text maybe let's change this to something else like hello i'm tech preppy and then here if we want to 
change the style we can click this instead of body maybe let's make it as a heading and then if you want to resize it it's either you can go to layout and enter the actual pixel size of your element or you can just close this property editor and hover under your element and then as you can see there is like a, a points here that you can drag for you to resize your element and there you go this is how you resize the element and then let's say i want to add a button you just select drag and drop that here so automatically as mentioned the property editor will appear so let's change the appearance maybe let's change it to click me same with the text you have the layout and conditions so let's skip that for the meantime and there you go this is how our application will look like it has a text and then a button which does nothing and that's how you use this design elements here in bubble.io so you have a lot of choices here that you can use like an icon link image and then you also have container if you want to group your elements and then there are elements that you can use to create forms like input multi-input checkbox radio buttons date picker and aside from that you can also install other elements or other elements by going to the plugins and then there's a lot of third-party plugins some of them are and most of them are free and some of them are paid so let's skip that by cl clicking done and that's the element let's go to the next tab which is workflow basically this is where you add your logic for your app like for example clicking a button will navigate you to another page or clicking a button will do some functions or calling an api this is where you do that so just click here and then here there's a lot of option like element when an element is click and then you can select the element that you want to to use here we have two elements if you still remember the button and the text so you just click it and then here you you add an action what do you want to do like navigation if you want to trigger a payments or call a plugins so those things so those are just drag and drop so for example if i click the button we can go to press the page that is the workflow menu and then here in the data this is where you can create your collections that you can use in your application so here i have a user type basically this is your documents or you can treat it as your table so if you want to create a new one you can either click a new type here let's say user details create so now i have two user and user details and then let's say i want to add a new field so by default you have these fields built in already when you create a new collection so you have creator modified it created date in the slug so let's say i want to add a new field let's say user address and then let's select the field type this is a text and then the field is a list no let's click create to add it and then there you go user address has been added and then the privacy basically this is for the defining the restriction or access to your database or your collection and then update basically this is where you can enter the values inside your collection so if you want to manually populate the these tables the user details or users then this is where you can do that so for example this is your address let's just click new entry and then the user address let's put manila philippines and then that's it let's press create so it will put an entry in this table so as you can see manila philippines has been added and then you can also upload modify or export this table so 
And then you can use this to in your logic if you want to delete something by clicking a button. So, and then the next one is the styles. Basically, this is the this is the general or global style of your website. For example, this is the default style of your alert. So if you want to have a common style for alert and you don't want to use the default theme, then you, this is where you can modify it. For the warning, this is red. So if you want to edit it, that's fine. And then that button. For the button, this is where you can change the background color or the default text. This is where you can edit that. So there's a lot of uh, elements that you can select here. For example, the font, you can actually set that here. Or you can apply themes also. So there's a lot of themes that you can apply here, which is already built in in bubble.io. All right. And then let's go to the next one, plugins. So here I already showed you the glimpse of it if you want to add a new elements but here there's a lot of other plugs plugins that you can install in your bubble io application for example you want to use the firebase authentication if you want your authentication or or your login page to be handled by firebase then uh, there's a plugin that you can install in bubble.io let's say let's query firebase there you go so you can install the Firebase Authentication Connector by just clicking Install and it's free. Okay, just click Install and then that's it. Just click Done. You have now the Firebase Authenticator, Authentication Connector. There's a lot of other uh, plugins that you can use. Like uh, there's also plugins that you can use to call an API or RS API. So that if you don't want to use your your built-in database then you can use that plugin to call an external api or a third-party api that's it for the plugins let's move to the settings this is where you change your plan if you want to change from free to or and upgrade it to the next uh, plan and then there this is where also you can define your domain if you have your own domain and then the language and then the api details if you want to connect to something and also the version of your apps so this is where you can handle and manage those things and then the last thing is lags so by default this is in, in your free plan this is already available so you can see that you will see here that if your free free plan will not suffice the load of your application then you will have an idea by checking that here in the logs and then if there's an error you can see that in the server log as well okay and that's it for all this uh menu so let's go back to the design so let's say if you want to preview your application here this is our application or what i'm creating is just a website you can click the preview button here at the upper right corner of your interface so Let's click normal, normal preview. And there you go. This is our application. So as remember, the click me is calling a workflow, basically, which is we added. We put here that when we click this button, it will refresh the page. And let's close this. So if you want to deploy this uh, application to App Store, to Google Play, then you can click this however as you can see it says upgrade to deploy so clicking that button will show you this uh, plan selection and for you to deploy it you just need to select the personnel and then clicking the bill 29 dollars monthly that's the time that you need to enter your credit card details so let's cancel that for the meantime so that's it for the walkthrough of the bubble.io as promised, I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly create a landing page for your website in just a few minutes using bubble.io. So let me delete everything here. So usually, a landing page for your website is composed of navigation menu, your hero page, and then the details of your uh, website or your product. And then at the bottom is your footer. As you can see here, there's a component button here. Just click that. And here, 
these are all the components that you can use to create a landing page. So you have this header and then there's a lot of selection here uh, you can use and you can further modify it later. So let's select this, the first one. So this is your header. And then now let's add the hero section. This is our hero section. Let's drag and drop that here. And then now we need to add the details of our website. So let's so let's uh, zoom out a little bit to make our screen bigger. All right, let's drag, let's select this one. All right, and then the last one is we need to add a footer. So let's, here in the component, let's scroll down. So aside from the footer, you also, as you can see here, there's a component also for your login. So you don't need to create from scratch. So the footer here is this one. All right, there you go. And now we have a landing page. So as you can see, if we click the preview, this is our website. So this is how it will look like. And then what you need to do next is edit the icon. Uh, or in the menu, you will by just double clicking it. Same with this hero section, you can edit the tagline here and then the description of your website or your product, and then your call to action, and then your image. And same with the footer and the rest of the page. So that's how easy it is to create a landing page in bubble.io. So you don't need to worry about the layout of your website. Everything has been pre-made for you. You just need to track and drop that. And then as remember, this is a powerful website. If you want your image to be dynamic, you have the data here, the collection that you can use. Also for the navigation, you can use workflow as how I showed you earlier. That's to use on how to use the workflow. And yep, basically that's it. This is bubble.io. And that's it guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of this tutorial. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up for this video. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video.